Welcome to this video. We are going to learn about finding uh, northward and eastward displacement when given a two-dimensional displacement. So we've done a lot of problems so far um, where an object moves along the x-axis and then moves along the y-axis and you have to find how they moved on the whole. But what if we do a problem slightly different? Instead of moving along the x or y-axis, this dog is running at an angle. So it's not just going along the x, it's not just going along the y. The dog is running 25 meters at this 40 degree angle, which is 40 degrees north of east. So we've gone up from east. Here's east, and we have gone north from east or north of east. Okay then, we have to first draw the 2D displacement and there it is. But wait a second, what about the x and y axes? Let's imagine for a second an x axis here and imagine for a second a y axis here. Like that. As the dog travels from here to here to here to here, right? As the dog travels, the dog's x position is changing. And so the dog doesn't just travel along, I mean, as, let me say it this way, as the dog travels along this angle, the dog undergoes some horizontal displacement because the dog is moving to the right. And as the dog travels along this angle, the dog's y position is here, and then the y position is here, and then here, and then here. So, while traveling on this angle, the dog undergoes some y displacement. The y value, or the y position, changes. y displacement. These two things happen, and so the dog is moving up the y-axis while moving to the right on the x-axis. These things happen together at the same time. Now I'm going to take these away, and I'm going to reveal the next question, which relates to exactly what we've done, right, or exactly what we looked at. How far east did the dog move? How far north did the dog move? They're asking about the change in the dog's position on the x and y axes. So first thing we do is we draw how far east the dog went, and we draw how far north. How far east? is the dog's delta x, how far north is the dog's delta y. So you always draw the delta x first, and then you connect the y-axis arrow to it. Let me try that a little, a little bit better. There's the delta x. And then you connect to that the y-axis arrow, which is delta y. Delta y. And so this is how far east the dog goes. Delta y is how far north. How do you find these? Well, hey, that's a right triangle. So you can use the old, uh, the old relationships that we know. Opposite, right, is hypotenuse times, is it sine or cosine? It's sine. And adjacent is equal to hypotenuse times cosine theta. So, hmm, let's think about what is the hypotenuse in this case. The hypotenuse is the two-dimensional vector. And because it's a displacement, it's r, right? r is the variable for displacement. No, 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 no. r is the variable for position, 2D, dis uh, 2D position. The variable for 2D displacement is change in r. And change in r is the hypotenuse, so I'm going to take this here and replace it with change in r in both cases. So we do change in r. What's opposite the angle theta? Here's my angle theta, and delta y is opposite. So let me change this. And what's adjacent the angle? Which leg is adjacent? It's delta x. Delta r is not the adjacent leg because it's the hypotenuse, not a leg. 
So this is delta x. So these are some equations that will be given on the equation sheet. And you can use them to calculate how far east the dog moved and how far north the dog moved. Right. Let's do that calculation. You just plug in the numbers. Delta y is the hypotenuse, right? Delta r, 25 meters times the sine of the angle theta, which is in here, in this case, 40 degrees. And then delta y, uh, that's delta y. Delta x is the same exact thing, except instead of sine, it's cosine. 40 degrees. So you plug this into your calculator, Mr. Buttons. 16.06969024. Oh gosh, this just keeps going, right? And we're going to round this to how many sig figs? We look at the givens. This value has three, this value has three. So let's round this to three sig figs. 16.1. And what's the unit? Hmm. Well, sine of 40 doesn't have any units. Ah, this has units of meters. So the unit over at the end here is meters. You do the same thing for delta x. Cosine this time of 40. And you get 19.15. 1, 1, a bunch of 1s, dot, 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 it goes on. You round this to three sig figs. Here's the third sig fig. So it becomes 19.2. Oops, 19.2 meters. Good. Now, I've left a little space here, right? Because I want to put that these are both negative, because they both, they point, uh, what's this one? This one is negative, right? Delta Y is negative. Wait! Delta y is pointing up. North, that's positive. And so the positive here means to the north, or northward. And what about delta x? Ah, delta x is also positive because it points east. OK. Very good. So you add that sign in. Had delta x, if delta x were to point west, you would make this negative. What's our next question? The dog ran over a period of 15 seconds. Oh, I know what you're thinking. As soon as we mention a time, you're thinking velocity, right? So what else are we asked? Ah, find the dog's average two-dimensional velocity, the average northward velocity, and the average eastward velocity. Now, here's what we're doing. The general equation for velocity, for average velocity, is displacement over how long it took for the displacement to occur. Delta T. Displacement over delta T. But there are three types of displacement. There's the two-dimensional displacement, right? There's the horizontal displacement, or like eastward displacement, and there's vertical displacement, or uh, like northward. And because of that, you can calculate three different values of average velocity. You could find the average 2d velocity, which is sometimes just called the average velocity. You could find the average horizontal velocity, or like eastward velocity. And you could find the average northward, or, you know, vertical velocity. And these pair up. This pairs with delta r in the equation. When you are finding this, you use delta x in the equation. And when you're finding this, the average y velocity, you use delta y. You match them up in the equation. Right. So what are we finding first? The dog's average 2d velocity. That's this one. The 2d velocity, the average 2d velocity, is just the 2d displacement. What was the dog's 2d displacement? 25 meters is delta R, delta R, right, over delta T, which is 25 meters. And how long did the dog run? 15 seconds. 
So you plug that into the calculator. 25 over 15, 1.7 meters per second. This is a velocity, so it has direction. The velocity, the two-dimensional, well, no, in general, the direction of the velocity is the same as the direction of the displacement. So we're looking here at the two-dimensional velocity, the two-dimensional velocity. So we have to look at what's the direction of the two-dimensional displacement. The two-dimensional displacement is directed at 40 degrees north of east. Thus, you know, because of this, what did I say it was? 40 degrees, right? So this is 40 degrees north of east. And again, that's because the velocity has the same direction, has the same direction as the displacement. So the angle is the same. Okay, next we find the, let's do the average horizontal velocity, or what is it? It's the average, we're doing the average eastward velocity here next. So you take the delta x value, divide by the delta t value, when you get your delta x, use the unrounded value, the unrounded answer. So for delta x, you're using this mess here. Not the rounded answer, use the unrounded. 19.15111. And how long did it take for the dog to undergo that horizontal, that uh, west, that eastward displacement? The dog ran for 15 seconds. The, si the time is the same. 19.15111 over 15. And you get 1 point. How many sig figs did we have here? Hmm. 15 seconds has two sig figs. So let me give it two sig figs. Now, this was positive. And so this is also positive. And right here, positive, this is x, remember, so the positive means eastward because we're looking at the x-axis, northeast, southwest. Eastward, what does that say? Gosh, eastward. And then lastly, we find the average y velocity. We take the y displacement, right, you match up the velocity with the displacement, Divide by the time. The time is still the same. The dog was running for just 15 seconds. You know, when the dog runs for 15 seconds, 15 seconds is how long it takes the dog to go over. 15 seconds is also how long it takes the dog to go um, north. So the time is 15 seconds in all three cases. And what's delta y? Let's find the unrounded value, the big, long, messy, unrounded value for delta y. 16 point blah, 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 blah. You write that down. Blah, 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 blah. You calculate. And it's 1.1 positive. It comes out positive because this was positive. Meters per second. And look, just as the displacement was northward, so is this velocity. The positive here, because it's on the y-axis, the positive means northward. And that's how you solve these problems.